Welcome to another week of my handmade outfits. My name is Sarah and my channel is Naughty Gnome Crafts, a channel all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. This is a series that I do for one week out of every month where I just share what I wore during the day from Monday through Sunday and I let you in on a little bit of what I am crafting as well. So for today, I just got home from the office and I'm pretty tired. And today I wore my favorite McCall's chambray shirt. I can never remember the number, but I will put it up on the screen. Maybe it's 6649, I might be making that up. It's an out of print pattern. It's made out of a Tencel fabric that I got from Joann's many years ago. And I'm wearing my French Navy Stellan tee out of a cotton spandex jersey that I think I got from fabric.com. And then I'm wearing my new uh, Sabina skirt that I just made from the little pomegranate for the So Frugal Challenge. Now this skirt, even though I kind of complained about it in my So Frugal video, um, I've already worn it three times now. I took it with me on va my vacation to Florida and I'm already wearing it again because we are finally getting spring temperatures here in Western New York, which I am very grateful for. And I just wore the outfit with some white sneakers. Now this, I, this is not quite a monochromatic outfit because it does have blue and white, but I do like the little hints of um, the one color with the blue shirt and the blue skirt. I just really like that effect. And I think for as far as crafting goes, first I'm gonna take a nap. And then after nap time, if I have a little bit of time before I do my workout, I might try to work on my McCall's button up shirt that was part of my April sewing plans. Um, I have that in progress but I still have a ways to go on that. So that is probably what I'm gonna work on today and probably also my dad's socks. I've been knitting my father a pair of socks out of some Regia self-striping yarn and I finished the um, entirety of the socks and all I have left that I'm working on now are the toes and when I finish the toes, then I'll do the heels and then they'll be done. So I think that's it for me today and I'll be back again tomorrow. Today's Tuesday and I just got home from work and had a snack. Uh, it was another really beautiful day. It's starting to feel like spring might actually be here this time. And for the first time this year, I wore my favorite linen jumpsuit. This is the Celine jumpsuit from the fabricstore.com, which is a free pattern. And I made it out of a linen that I got from Style Maker Fabrics. I really love this jumpsuit. It's just so comfortable to wear and I think it looks really stylish. And I just threw on a layer over top just because it is a little bit chilly in the mornings. I wore my ready to wear Madewell cardigan. Now I don't think this is the most fashion forward cardigan, but it does get the job done. And on my feet, I'm just wearing my loafer leopard mules. Um, these are really cute and comfortable. I am starting to feel like maybe they're a little bit out of style, but I do actually have several different colors and this style of shoe. So I'm probably gonna keep wearing them because they're comfortable and I like them. Um, but yeah, that's my outfit for today. I was able to work on my knitting yesterday and I finished the toe of my dad's sock on the first sock, but not the second. Um, I still need to start that one and I, was, I haven't actually like cut the yarn yet, but the toe is done. And um, I didn't was not able to work on my McCall's shirt, but I'm hoping to do that later tonight. So that's it for me today and I'll be back again tomorrow. Today is Wednesday and I'm filming before I go to work because this afternoon my husband and I have an appointment to get our taxes done and I know that's gonna take a couple of hours and I'm sure that I'm gonna be exhausted when I get home. So I decided I should probably do my filming now rather than waiting until later because I know that I won't feel like doing it. So this morning I had a little mini disaster. The first outfit that I'm going to show you was what I was intending to wear to work. It was my Deer and Doe Maya Sotis dress and I just love this dress. And now that spring is here, I think it's the perfect for the weather. And I am wearing my Solo sneakers, but I packed away some uh, nude, uh, clog, not clogs, nude mules that I'm gonna wear when I get to work. And so I was gonna wear that dress and then I was eating my breakfast and I spilled my coffee all over my dress and also the couch. So I had to change and now I am wearing my Simplicity Dress 8875. This one was made out of a rayon crepe from fabric.com and I don't like it quite as much as I liked the Maya Sotis dress, but I also really like this dress. However, whenever I wear it, it does sort of remind me that I need to do small bust adjustments on all of my patterns. Um, probably not the knit ones, and I'm not gonna do it on patterns that have tons and tons of ease, 
But for anything that's meant to be fitted that comes with a standard B cup, I really, really need to make a small bust adjustment and make it an A cup. Because whenever I put this dress on, I always just think like, you know, it would look really, it would look a lot better if I just did a small bust adjustment. So anyway, that's all that I have for you this morning. I'm about to finish getting ready and go to work and I will see you again tomorrow. Today is Thursday and I almost forgot to do this today, but here we are. For today's outfit, I am wearing my Love Notions Rhapsody blouse. This is the third version that I've made of this pattern, and I used a double gauze that I got from Style Maker Fabrics. And on the bottom, I'm just wearing my ready-to-wear uh, demi bootcut jeans. They're some of my favorites because they're very comfortable. And then on my feet, I have my Birkenstock clogs slippers, which actually for once match my shirt, so it kind of looks like a real outfit. I don't wear this shirt that often, but I am reminded of how much I really like double gauze because it's very comfortable and light to wear, but that texture just gives it a little bit of extra detail. I don't wear a ton of prints. I do wear some, but I mostly wear solids. And so just adding that little bit of texture um, gives me some variety. And I really do like that. Um, I have a little bit of double gauze in my stash still, but I should really think about picking some up in more colors. So as predicted, yesterday after my husband and I got our taxes done, um, I was completely exhausted and so I didn't really do much of anything as far as crafting goes. But today I was working from home so I managed to finish the shirt that I was working on which was a McCall's pattern and I can't remember the number. Um, but it's on the dress form behind me and I used a spoon flower cotton double gauze, not, not a double gauze, I used a spoon flower cotton lawn and I really like how this shirt turned out. I think that the fabric is just so beautiful and um, I think the shirt actually fits pretty well and it went together fairly smoothly and I'm not going to give you all the details now because I will be talking about it in my April makes but if you want to see more about this top now would be a really great time to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button so that it helps more people find my channel and then you won't miss out when I do post details of that make. So after finishing up my shirt, I actually managed to do even a little bit more today. I was very productive. I ended up cutting out and starting my collab project that I am doing with Michelle of Michelle Sews Again. And I'm really happy to have gotten started on that because I feel like we're already at mid-month and I really haven't done a lot of sewing. Now I was on vacation the first week of the month, so it's pretty probably natural that I have not sewn a lot, but I think up to this point, I've only made two things. And like I said, we're at mid-month. So I, there are quite a few other things I would really like to accomplish this month. Um, so I'm glad that I've kind of picked up the pace a little bit. I'm really actually hoping that I can finish my collab project tomorrow possibly and then maybe start on some other things um, but we'll just have to see how it goes so that's it for me today and i will be back again tomorrow it's friday afternoon and i'm all done with my work day and for today's outfit since i was working from home i just wanted to be comfortable so i am wearing my tilly and the buttons pearl cardigan out of this sweater knit that i got from style maker fabrics and then I have a ready to wear knit tank top underneath. And then I'm wearing my Green Style Creations flare leggings, which are my favorite pants. And I wear them at least once a week because they're so comfortable. And then I'm just wearing my black Nikes. It is a little bit chilly today. It's cold and windy. And so I kind of wish that I had another layer, but um, I did get through the day in this outfit. Um, but yeah, so I had another really productive day. Um, I finished up my collab project, which I'm not going to share with you right now, but I was also able to start a new project, which I will share. And I'm cut out and I've started sewing the Pattern Emporium Meet You There dress. I had purchased this rayon chalet from Style Maker Fabrics and it has florals with little key cats on it and it's so cute. And um, this Fabric is quite thin and it's a little bit slippery and difficult to work with. Um, but yeah, I've got the bodice. I'm working on the bodice. I just finished up the neckline. It has a bias binding. There's a little yoke on the back that is unlined. And yeah, the next step will be putting on the sleeves. I'm making a little mini dress and I think it's gonna be really cute. And um, I'm hoping to get some more work on that done tomorrow. So I think that's it for me today. I'll see you on Saturday. It's Saturday and we've just gotten back from walking the dogs this afternoon. 
So I had grand plans this weekend that I was going to do my wardrobe switch over. I was gonna put away all of my heavy sweaters and I was gonna get out all my spring and summer clothes. And it was really super cold today to the point where I actually needed to wear a sweater. And I remembered that I live in Western New York and it's really not safe to get out your summer clothes until like mid-May. So I decided not to do that this, um, this weekend. I did go to Joann's earlier this morning because there was a McCall's pattern sale and there was one pattern that I wanted to pick up that was on sale. And then while I was there, they actually had an unadvertised sale as far as I, I know of. Um, their denim was on sale for $7.99 a yard. So I did pick up several pieces of denim that I've been wanting to buy, but I usually just haven't for one reason or another. So I got those things and I'll, I will show that in my April haul that's coming pretty soon. And then I just have one other thing to share with you, which is last night I got out one of my long languishing uh, scrap blanket projects. So back in 2016, I think that I lost my mind temporarily and I literally started, I think five scrap blankets and I really have no idea what possessed me to start all these blanket projects. And pretty much ever since then, I've been trying to complete them. So last year I finished my uh, crochet granny rectangle blanket. Um, earlier this year, I finished my mitered square blanket for my niece. And so last night I decided to get out one of my other projects that's been sitting around forever. I don't think I've worked on this for at least a couple of years. And this is my granny hexagon blanket. Look at how pretty. So this uses little teeny tiny scraps of sock yarn. I think it takes roughly three grams for each motif. And then the exterior um, around the motifs is Knit Picks Stroll Tweed, which I have several skeins of this because I bought it specifically to make a blanket. And it's really not a very good yarn to use for crochet because it's really splitty and that's annoying. But I've already started this. I'm kind of invested in finishing it. I have a bunch, I think I have like, like 10 more skeins of this in my stash. So I'm gonna just keep using it. And I'm doing the um, motifs and then I'm doing join as you go. So it's actually really handy because I can use the outer yarn, that Knit Picks yarn, to just go all the way around in rows so that I don't have as many ends to weave in. So that's always nice. So I'm really enjoying it so far. It took a little bit of trial and error for me to remember how to do it. I, I, I could have, of course, looked up the instructions, but I was kind of like, oh, I'll figure it out. So I had a little bit of stopping and starting while I, while I um, sorted out how I was actually gonna do the join as you go. But I managed to do that. And um, I'm really glad I got this back out again because I do like the look of it. I just think that it's so pretty. And yeah, that's what I'm working on today. So I will be back again to wrap it up tomorrow. See you then. So I just recorded my little segment for Saturday and then remembered I totally forgot to talk about what I'm wearing, which is technically the point of this video. So I did mention that it was cold, so I am wearing my self-designed poncho that's made out of a bunch of different colors of Hedgehog Fibers yarn. I knit this several years ago. I didn't use a pattern, I just kind of winged it. And then I have on my Jennifer Lauren handmade gable top underneath, and then I'm just wearing some Madewell ready-to-wear jeans and I think I'm wearing my slippers in this clip. Um, I did wear my duck boots when I went out to Joann's. But yeah, just trying to stay warm and cozy for today. Today is Sunday and let's just wrap this thing up. Now before I forget like I did yesterday, I'm gonna tell you what I am wearing. Um, it's one of those days where I, I, my outfit might be terrible. I don't really care what I look like and I'll explain why in a minute. But I'm wearing my Pattern Emporium Keep It Simple Babe t-shirt. This is the brown long sleeve crew neck version out of a cotton modal jersey that I got from Stylemaker Fabrics. I'm wearing a hand knit sweater vest. I think it's called the Orchid Cardigan. I'll link it down in the description box. And I knit that out of a Volmiza lace yarn. And on the bottom, I'm wearing my Paper Theory Miller trousers in a gold corduroy. Um, these pants are a little bit too big and baggy, but they are very comfortable. And like I said, I don't care what I look like today. And then I just have my Birkenstock clogs on my feet. So first of all, this morning I wake up and I look outside the window and there's snow on the ground. So there's that. And 
The main thing is that I did not get a lot of sleep last night because our dog Penny got sick and she was, there was diarrhea all over the house and then she had diarrhea all over the bed and we had to get up in the middle of the night and like strip off the bed and do all, take care of all of that. And um, yeah, I'm exhausted. And the poor girl, like she doesn't feel well, like she's really sick right now and I hope she gets better soon. But yeah, extra tired today. Um, I probably won't do a lot of crafting because the NBA playoffs start today for my team, which is the Boston Celtics, and I'm really excited about that. Um, the game is on at 3.30, I think. So I probably don't have a lot of time between doing chores and filming and doing this kind of stuff um, to do a lot of crafting. But yeah, I'm still working on my Meet You There dress. I'm hoping to get that done um, in this next week. So I think that pretty much sums up my week. I'm sorry to end it on kind of a down note, but you know, that's the ups and downs of life. Like, what are you gonna do? Um, so if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to link the one from last month because I think maybe it was a little bit happier. I'll see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching.